So now, wanna conquer the blow game? Let's begin as the usual medium impossible. Damn, that's a really, really good difficulty. Medium or impossible? Wonder which one I want. Damn, and it calls you a wuss too? If you don't pick impossible, it calls you a wuss. Excuse me? That was weird. So this is apparently a 100 floor game. A 100 floor game is as the name will suggest. You go through a 100 floors. Each one obviously harder than the previous one. Until you reach 100, which is supposedly the hardest one. Chasey or Lunatic is pretty funny. For those who don't know, impossible difficulty in fun games is usually no checkpoints. And considering that this is supposed to be an easy game, I maybe could do it, but I don't think it's about if I could or not, it's about if I want or not. I can definitely tell you that I don't want to do it. So, you know. As you can see... Well, as Yami said... Seems that it's gonna start really easy and it's gonna get harder towards the end. Most likely gonna be something like that. Probably. Damn, and the music can loop properly. Come on, did the game expect me to die already that I had to reset the music? Come on, bro. Though, again, this is a game intended for beginners. The only reason why I'm playing this game is because it's part of I Wanna Kill the Camellia. And before playing that game, I want to play every game that 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 game use and again this is one of them impossible mode is usually i mean fun games with people actually grind it out for some of the 100 floor games yeah well i'm assuming if you have a really easy game like this one you probably can beat it without checkpoints and at the same time you will be spear running it as well right i mean if you beat it without dying you're pretty much Beating it in the most optimal way possible. This one or Churach? Interesting name. Well, we have our first switch. Alright. Pretty interesting. I also like how the ribbon is not even in my head. Like, it's so badly made that... It's floating aside. This is floating on my side. It's kind of like Paimon. Is it a classic or a light switch? No, it's the new switch, the Switch Pro. The Switch Pro that features a whooping amount of three hours of battery for the Joy Cons instead of only five minutes. So, yeah. It's an uh, offer that you cannot uh, miss on. Come on, get up there. Okay. I can't believe I died there. Man, I should feel ashamed. Definitely should feel ashamed for that. See, if we were playing impossible, I would have to start all over again just because of that. Wouldn't that be salty? Well, that will definitely be salty. Can I get up there? No. Oh, Alright. Yes, I can't. Also, Yami, I have a question. Because I know that Camellia 2 was made by a Korean by a Korean player, but what about Camellia 1? 
I think you already answered that question, but I obviously don't remember your answer. I'm just asking again. You know, I know that it wasn't in Fluka, but my question is, where is he from? Is he also Korean? Maybe it is. I don't even know who he is in the first place. Shrug. God damn it. Yesterday Yami made a two a two-arm shrug. That's the a rare occurrence. He usually only does does one. Yeah. Was like a Christmas gift, an early Christmas gift. I guess I should play more hundred floor games. Should I play more a hundred floor games, Yami? Cause for what I can tell, you don't have a pretty high concept of hundred floor games. But I don't think it might be a bad idea. I know that this is a bad example because it's a pretty easy game, but... You know. And I think this is like a shortcut for people that are incredibly good at the game. Though I'm not sure if it's an actual shortcut. Like, I don't know if that's possible, but I think it might be possible to do that jump. I mean, it looks like it's like three corner jumps in a row or something like that. I really like this song, by the way. It's supposed to be a DuckTales song that is also used in, in I Wanna Be The Guy when you take the, the rail to go to the final area, which is the tower of the guy. Uh-oh. So we have a boss. Huh? Okay. wonder what the boss is gonna be. Of course it will be a fucking apple. Who will have thought it was gonna be an apple? Wow, my hitbox has to be really small for none of that shit to hit me. This has to be a really, really small hitbox. How is... What? How is none of this hitting me? Is my hitbox really small, or is my hitbox non-existent? I wanna challenge 100 trials and Churach are good. They are generally just easier needle games until later floors. I see. I guess I could play them. Yeah, Reimu hitbox. But at some point it seemed like even if my hitbox was really small, I should have gotten hit. Like, I feel that I should have gotten hit for sure there. But somehow I didn't. Definitely not complaining, but uh, it's pretty weird. Maybe not Churach, definitely challenge 100 trials though. Maybe I could play that next. Uh, remind me. Well, I mean, I know that you probably won't remind me, but you know. If you find time in your uh, BC um, your BC life, let me re remind me of it. Because it feels cool. Like there is a um, a pretty clear objective that I think it really keeps you motivated to keep going, which is reaching uh, the floor 100, obviously. So I think it's a cool format. Honestly, I, I never played on a 100 floor game. This, this is my first one, right? Have I played any other 100 floor game before? So I'm pretty sure I didn't. So I think this is literally my first time playing a 100th floor game. 
which is pretty cool. There is a first time for everything and this is my first time in one of these. The music is also pretty cool. I don't know why this is called the blow game. Is this another one of the shitty English translations? That for some reason they love so much. Really? No, I didn't see that. Maybe anyway, because it's the color is really similar to the background. Yeah. Cool song. Damn it. Also, Shrine Maiden. Apparently that game is trash, right? But... See, the problem is that the first Shrine Maiden apparently is complete trash. But the second one is... Not as trash, but really hard. That's another one of those games that I'm really curious to try. It's probably gonna be a bad idea. I know that someone mentioned that there, it's funny but trash. Yeah, like I don't mind pl playing something that is trash. The problem is if I play something that is trash and hard. Because if it's something that is trash and easy, I guess it's... We can all have a, a quick a quick laugh at how bad it is, but at the same time we will be able to move on pretty easily. But if it's trash and hard, it's like pretty bad combination. First you don't mind playing trash games. Well you definitely don't mind either. I mean you already say so. Every Pokemon game that you keep playing. So, you know. We are even in that regard. We could say. One is not too hard. Yeah, but the problem is that one apparently is like bottom of the barrel trash. In the sense that it's one of the lowest rated games in the site. That's... I'm shit at this Manzanita games and I almost beat it. Yeah, but how trash is it? That's the question. Because as I say, it's literally one of the lowest rated games in Delicious Fruit. It surprises me, because I can understand it being bad, but is it that bad? Pokemon is the good trash. Yeah, Shrine Maiden, that's the one that, that I was talking about. Like, according to Delicious Fruit, I wanna be the Shrine Maiden 1 is uh, a 1 in quality. Like, it's that bad. It's shit both for the level design and the technical issues. Hmm. Wonder what I should do. Maybe I should play it, I don't know. It's probably not a good idea, but you never know. Wait, this hard bit? Like, this hard bit seems pretty familiar. I wonder where it comes from. Oh shit. How did I dodge that? Wait. I really don't have a hitbot sometimes, do I? Do I even have a hitbot now? Well, at least these bullets are big enough, so it's pretty clear to know if I have a hitbot or not.
Guess we're not gonna find out yet. Oh shit. That looks bad. Is this for... Oh shit, speaking of Toho. Speaking of Toho. In. Can't believe it. Yeah, the original Bad Apple. The actual Bad Apple. Can you believe it? Sadly, they still use the fucking Alstro Emeria uh, ambientation by doing the black and white thing, but. Yeah, the, the, the best version. I'm really glad that NJK Records actually remits a bad apple and it sounds pretty similar to the original one. NJK Records, I think it's being it's being sung by uh, by Nachi, I think. Nachi is one of the most popular uh, vocalists for Toho arranges. We need to have Power Wolf Bad Apple mashup. I don't know what that is, and I don't think I wanna know either. Okay. We went from Bad Apple to... Bad Urine. Jeez. Maybe bad lemon? In the funniest part of all bad apple is that it doesn't make any sense. The title. Doesn't make any sense the title in the original game. Like in the original game you're literally in a... Maybe because you are above uh, a lake of blood but why would it be called bad apple then the boss herself doesn't have anything to do with apples she's supposed to be a guardian that uses a side to defend herself bad lenin or bad mustard uh, it could be those two But yeah, basically, what I'm saying is that, well, uh, to be completely honest, there there is a lot of titles of Toho songs that make no fucking sense. Bad Apple is just one example, but there are plenty. And I think Soon himself has admitted that they don't make any sense. Some of them, at least. It also doesn't help that choose as any Japanese person that tries to use English, they use the most broken English available because they probably just use a translator. And I'm pretty sure that soon is not an exception there. Probably not at all. It's also funny that Bad Apple has two exclamation marks at the end. Because Bad Apple wasn't nonsensical enough, let's add those two exclamation marks at the end. Oh yeah. Basically, Sun is a stoner, is what I'm trying to say. Which you probably already knew. We're gonna change. It will be really nice if right after that Ellie Ellie's theme played. She's like in the actual game. Imagine if the boss was Ellie. 
That will be really dope. Okay, here's the thing. I know that it's not gonna happen. But if the, the following boss is Ellie... If the next boss is Ellie... What can I say? Something that I will never do. Yeah, I will play UFO 12 on the next stream. Yeah, UFO 12. <laughs> Toho 12 on the next stream. On Lunatic. For the whole stream. If Ellie is the next boss. And can you imagine if Ellie was the actual boss? That's not gonna happen, don't worry about it. Will be pretty funny though. Pretty detrimental too. For my mental health, that is. Playing a whole UFO stream sounds like a bad idea. A really bad idea, I must say. But you know. So, if it was Ellie, they will have to find a way to extract the sprite from the original game, which I'm assuming that it's something that is pretty hard to do. I mean, it's probably on the internet already, you probably wouldn't need to do it yourself, but... This game is not really that new, so I don't know if that will be available back when this game was made. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But what is for sure is that seems like the bad apple is gonna continue until the boss. Him. If Ellie is the actual boss here, I will have to lose my shit. I don't think Ellie's gonna be the boss, but... Please don't be Ellie, please don't be Ellie, please don't be Ellie. Man, I, I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't believe my eyes if this was Ellie. Alright, thankfully it's not. Just a save point. It doesn't even use Ellie's theme. How will you be able to do that? Not even Ellie's theme? At least you could have used Ellie's theme. Why am I fighting against a save button? But more importantly, shouldn't I be able to save every time I hit it? I should be able to, right? Uh oh. I like the aesthetic of this thing. This is kind of like the. The betrothal, right? That you see in in churches, in churches, right? I like this the aesthetic of this thing. Seems pretty nice. It also seems that if this is gonna get hard, it has to be right at the very end, because so far, no floor has been hard at all. Which is something that I'm thankful for, especially after playing uh, I Wanna Seek You. It's a good break.
Puh, that was close. Ooh. We're gonna be adding water to the mitts. Well, not really the best underwater, so maybe this will prove to be difficult. It might be. I'm an underwater apples too. I probably should stop calling them apples. Though it doesn't help that the previous stage had bad apple as a song. Because they really seem to be supposed to be cherries. But I don't know, bro. I think it's too hard to accommodate my brain now and tell, tell it to call, to call them uh, cherries. It's like my brain already, you know, imprinted the fact that they are apples, even though they are supposedly not apples. I thought I was gonna be able to squeeze through there, but I guess not. Damn it. So considering that every 25 floors there is a boss, I'm assuming the last floor, floor 100, is gonna be a boss. Right? I will assume that that's the case. Dramatic music. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, we, I mean, we are near the end after all. Like only 14 floors to go. Those platforms are fast. Those platforms are pretty fast. Though this shouldn't be a problem because there is no spike there that could fuck me up. This music reminds me a little bit of Sonic. Not like the very classic Sonic, but like the the Sonics for... Well, I guess they are classic too, but like it reminds me to... It reminds me to Sonic the Fighters, which is an arcade game. Oh, I was supposed to jump all the way to the right, oops. That reminds me that I really wish that Sega released Sonic the Fighters on Steam, but they don't. Fucking bastards. It's a pretty cool game. It's a pretty cool game. I mean, it's a Sonic fighting game. Even if it's a pretty non-conventional fighting game, it is still pretty fun to play. All things considered. Never played it. Well, I mean, it's pretty hard to play it in the first place because as far as I understand, it's an arcade only game that only got truly ported to PlayStation 3, I think. Though there is a PlayStation 2 version that has that game alongside other games like Sonic CD, Sonic R, and a lot of Game Gear games. Which is the reason why I know I know about it because I played in that collection. 
If you are interested, that PS2 game is, is called uh, Sonic Shems Collection. It's a pretty good game. I mean, it's worth it just for the fact that it has Sonic uh, CD and Sonic the Fighters alone. But you also have pretty fun uh, Game Gear games. Like, for example, there is a Japanese only game called Tales Adventure. And I think that's not the one that I'm trying to to reference here, actually. Sonic Adventure was quite dual. No, I think there was another Tales games. You played it? <laughs> well, if you played it... You must remember that Sonic the Fighters is pretty cool. At least I thought it was cool. Which doesn't necessarily mean that it is cool, but, you know... It was cool to me. That's pretty cool. It also had the infamous, as I say, Sonic R. Sonic R, which is that Sonic racing game that has some pretty questionable deci de decisions in terms of design. Though I personally liked it. It's alright. Yeah, it's cool. The good thing is that that game also had unlockable games. So you could play Vectorman, Vectorman 2, uh, Streets of Rage 1, 2 and 3, all of them in, in, in that same game. And there was also a game called Bonanza Bros, where it's basically a stealth uh, game where you play as two thieves and you have to steal well obviously to play all of those games yeah it really makes me want to play them again though i don't know what i will do by playing them again maybe i could try getting a one coin clear in in sonic the fighters i used to get one coin clears when i was a kid when I was younger, I guess, not really a kid, I was a teenager back then. Yeah. It was pretty... pretty cool. Maybe I should play them on stream at some point. You play them on the Wii. Yeah, I think it also had a Wii port for those. For that uh, Shams collection. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty fun. And that's basically the game that made me a pretty big Sonic fan. False Spike? Oh, that's what you mean by False Spike. You just don't know how to use English, huh? Well, considering that there is only four floors left, it should not be an issue at all, right? I mean, unless the literal three last floors are incredibly fucked up, or like the final boss is, you know, a really big deal. This shouldn't be a problem in the slightest. And I'm saying this as I'm dying to those sorry ass the spikes there. Yeah, I know, I know. But you know. Definitely shouldn't take too much, too long. It's a diagonal jump at the end. So this has uh, rising spikes, but those rising spikes, I don't think they are going to do much. Damn. Yeah, it indeed was not the rising spikes, the ones that, that kill me. Okay. Damn it. You stop dying there. Not even that hard of a shamp.
Alright. Hmm. Take your poison. Well, they both seem pretty... Pretty alright to do. Damn. We're already at the final floor. With two moving gates. This is gonna be a problem. Now this shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so I really wonder how the boss is gonna be. Huh? Where is the boss? Oh shit! Going all the way up? Uh oh. Tim. Really glad that spike is fake. You can jump many times. Well, not here clearly, but I'm assuming on the boss. This is gonna be an infinite jump boss. Huh? I don't think those shurikens should be a problem. It's a pretty Toho sounding music. I gotta say, I'm pretty sure it's not. Right? I'm pretty sure it's not a Toho thing. Also seems to be a pretty long fight, so I would assume that it will be a pretty big pain in the ass if you died. Probably. I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. Oh shit, wait, it keeps going? No, this is the first level, 101. Wait. Oh, wait, wh why does it repeat? Did we not win? Or maybe this is gonna be the second loop? The horns don't sound like shit, so can be Toho music, damn. Stage 1 standard... What? What was the point of that last stage? Alright, I don't mind. But good shit. I guess that was it. So yeah, just as as delicious fruit already warned, this was a pretty pretty easy game. Uh, it was to be expected, I mean it, it's rated as a 15 in delicious fruit. It's really really low. But it's also a game that apparently serves as an inspiration for a lot of medleys. I don't really know why, but you never know. Uh, so I had to play it. For some reason though, it's also rated as a 5.5. I don't really know why. I mean, it surely is easy. And it really doesn't have anything that stands out, but... You know, this could be something that, I don't know, my mom could play. Well, probably not, but you know, uh, the point is that someone that is really bad at this kind of games could play. Um, hey, Aldo, how is it going? Yeah, that was all. But hey, that, that was the point. This was supposed to be uh, an easy game. The game that I played before this one today was not supposed to be easy, so you missed that one. Your mom the secondary. Reminds me of some shit I would play as a little kid on computer. Yeah, seems to be that case, but 
I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, someone could start, you know, with this as their first fan game and then start slowly building their, you know, their way through that. I mean, I don't know. I don't think this deserves a 5.5. Who is this? Is that Miku? If that's Miku, that's a... N no, that's really weird for Miku. That's probably... Okay, if that's Miku, this definitely deserves a 5.5, okay? I agree now. Alright, I understand now the, um, the ranking, why it's a 5.5. Oh, damn, and it goes back to the credits. Pfft, pretty funny. Damn it. Alright, good shit. 36 deaths. And 39 minutes. Okay. It, it's cool. She she's. Rare golden Miku, yeah. Seems to be the case. 